All right, guys, we are in the middle of an October snowstorm here in Colorado at 9,000 feet. And one of the chores that I have to do out here with the cattle is to plow their arena here. And I use my little ATV with a snow plow, and I basically just plow through it. <laughs> Now that's actually a lot easier than uh, going around and draining puddles. <laughs> Trying to, it's easier to stay on top of the snow. So I want to go around the property and, and plow a little bit more and try to keep up with this crazy snow. <laughs> Guys, so while I'm out here plowing some snow, I thought I'd kind of share a little bit about uh, snow removal in the mountains. And basically, um, uh, you can see we live on this dead end street, and they hardly ever plow this. I'd say they plow it maybe the very last street, and it comes down. Here's my driveway right here, and basically a dead end right here. <laughs> so we're like on the end of civilization here. And normally what I do uh, is I wear this hat when it starts getting cool, but it's not what I use for plowing the driveway. So let me show you first, the first thing that I wear <laughs> for the cold. Okay, so this is basically it. It's a little, basically just a little uh, thing that goes around my neck. And then what I wear <laughs> is this little, uh, this, this pullover uh, that goes over my head. Let me show you that. <laughs> okay, so this is neoprene. It's really, really warm. Keeps my neck and my head and my ears and everything really warm. And on top of that, I also have a helmet and some goggles. Let me show you that. All right, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm really getting geared up. And the last thing, my hands are really cold. And what you really need is some really big gloves. And it's it's probably, I'd say, close to 10 degrees out here. <laughs> so it's, it's really, really cold. And this basically will winterproof you. Oh, if I can get it on with one hand. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, I am totally geared up, ready to go. And uh, so I'm at the top of my driveway, and I'll show you my driveway basically from the beginning to the end. It's, it's pretty long. When I first started, uh, I, when we moved up here, I started with a shovel. And let me tell you, that took days <laughs> to try to figure that one out. And uh, uh, we went from a shovel to a snowblower. And I'd say a snowblower pretty much took all day. It was really slow. And it wasn't very good for, for uh, light, really light snow. And then from there I went to a skid steer. And a skid steer worked pretty good, but it drank a lot of gas. It was incredible. And then I finally went to this uh, ATV with a plow on it. And this has been working fantastic. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a Grizzly 800. It's an awesome machine. Uh, and it's fast, and it, it can handle about a foot of snow, and anything above that, it bogs down, so you really want to stay on top of it. So, what I'm going to do is show you my driveway from beginning to end, and I'm going to show you how long it is. It goes all the way down to the house, around the back of the property, and then loops around by the barn, and you'll see... If you had a shovel, <laughs> you'd be like, forget about it. It's, 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 it's hard to even make it uh, to the top of the driveway with a shovel. <laughs> but an ATV, it makes quick work of it. So I'm going to start up this ATV, and let's check it out.
dog. That's it guys. <laughs> I know I got a little snow in the lens and I didn't have my goggles on. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy, but <laughs> that's basically the snow removal. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I will see you next time. <laughs>